If a fox persuades a farmer to let him into the hen house, that farmer probably won't have eggs for breakfast tomorrow. To the plaintiffs in City of Arlington, Texas versus Federal Communications Commission, the Federal Communications Commission was the fox, and if the Supreme Court deferred to the FCC's judgment, they'd get eaten. Were they right or just foxy litigants? The Federal Telecommunications Act of 1996 limited local power over wireless facility sites like cell phone towers. Section 201B put the FCC in charge of administering the act and authorized the agency to adopt and enforce any regulations it deemed necessary to serve the public interest. Section 332 reflected the recognition that localities often sat on site applications too long, so it required localities to process applications with reasonable promptness. The telecommunications industry asked the FCC to define what's reasonably prompt. The FCC did so by adopting a rule that defined reasonable promptness as either 90 or 150 days, depending on the subject matter. Arlington, Texas, and other state and local governments sued, challenging the FCC's jurisdiction to define promptness. The Fifth Circuit affirmed the FCC's jurisdiction to interpret Section 332, found the agency's interpretation to be reasonable, held that the doctrine named for the 1984 Chevron case applied, and ruled that the FCC's statutory interpretation was entitled to deference. The appellate court let the FCC's rule stand. The Supreme Court granted cert.